This is Smallsy Surgery. Hey, what's going on? This is Jesse McCartney. I don't want another pretty face. I don't want just anyone to hold You're listening to Smallsy on Nova. Jesse McCartney on the show tonight. Get clap him in, everyone. Welcome. It is, it is it's 20 years in the making. I think I have only spoken to you one time ever before. So here's a moment for me. There you go. Good talking to you again. Mate. Things are How are you? I'm, I'm doing great. You're back with some brand new music. I don't even know where to start. Um, how are you? How's life? Uh, lovely lounge room, by the way, can I just say. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm here at the house. I get to do interviews now behind my laptop, which is uh, which is new, which is really fun. That's the one good thing that came out of COVID, I guess. So you can talk to anyone from anywhere in the world, just from the comfort of your own lounge room. That's right. You got it. Okay, quickly, um, tell me what's been going on uh, in your life in the last couple of years. Give me the Jesse McCartney update. Well, the biggest update, obviously, is that I have some new music coming out. The new EP, All's Well, is dropping April 5th. I'm going on tour here in the States, April 12th. Mm -hmm. And great, man. I've been uh, been writing in the studio quite a bit. Um, In my personal life, I got married two years ago at the end of 2021, which was exciting. And um, so a lot has changed in the last couple of years, for sure. But, you know, I'm uh, better than ever. Life is good. Still making music, still traveling. I can hear I can hear the disappointment uh, in the heart and the hearts breaking in Australia uh, as you reveal you got married to you. There goes a whole bunch of teenage girls' uh, fantasies never going to be coming to fruition. Uh, well, they're not te- anymore, most of them. No, well they're not anymore, but their teenage fantasies definitely were to marry Jesse McCartney one day. Uh, was your wife a fan of yours? This is a very strange question for me to ask. Did she uh, enjoy your music back in the day? Sadly, I don't think she was a big Jesse McCartney fan. I think yeah. she was more into like Blink-182 and some 41, and she liked a lot of like the punk pop stuff. <laughs> but but she is now. She better be. She has to be. It's like it's part of the contract. It's like it's part of getting married. You must support your partner. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, now, the new song is called Make a Baby. You, you sort of punked everybody, and everyone thought you were actually going to announce you were a father when you first dropped this, right? Yeah, we had a little fun with social media, as as you do now in 2024. A little bit of marketing. and Yeah, of course. Working with Young Gravy, too, who's sort of, you know, a master at uh, at, at TikTok and, and Instagram and, and a little bit of trolling, you know. But it, um, you know, it, it, it also suited the record, obviously. The song is uh, this fun, kitschy pop record about making a baby and all the weird places and fun places you get to try and do that. And uh, so, you know. <laughs> It was, uh, we just had a little bit of fun with promoting this song, sure. as you can see. Now, tell me, Jesse McCartney, uh, have, have, were, the, were these lyrics uh, from personal experience? Um, I'm sure you have an answer prepared, ready to go, because you knew these people were going to ask you this. Uh, where have you tried to make a baby? Right. Well, uh, I won't get into that because my <laughs> wife. But uh, it's certainly in the cards, I think, down the road. I think that's something that we've talked about. And. You know, we got married. I think the, the plan is to hopefully one day start a family. So the idea when writing that song was to just sort of, you know, talk about that and, and see where the writing took us. But it ended up becoming this really playful, fun record, obviously with Gravy being a part of it. Everything is more exciting and, and goofier when Young Gravy is on the track. No, so absolutely. Um, well, yeah. um, I love the way you uh, you you deflected that question from where where you've where you've made a where I asked you have you ever tried to make a baby and you just said oh well it's not it's on the cards but I mean yeah. I guess I guess I, that's that's why you're a professional hey you know you know I, I don't know if people remember this but you were meant to how, when was the last time you actually were in Australia because you were meant to come here back in 2020 just before COVID kicked off. Well over a decade ago, and 2020 was such a sad, it was such an exciting year, but also so sad, part, partly because of the pandemic, yeah. but also it meant that I had to cancel the tour, and we were so excited to come down there for the big pop tour uh, with the Pussycat Dolls and and see all the Australian fans, but um, hopefully it's in the cards later this year, maybe next year. I mean, I miss miss you guys so much, and you guys have always been such big supporters of me and my music, so it would be nice to get back down there at some point. Yeah, it was a str- was a str- I know I was I was so devastated when the thing got cancelled because I was I was number one ticket holder. I was ready to there to see Jesse McCartney. Uh, was Australia always a, a huge like country for you? Like that that record and beautiful soul was just it it was the biggest thing 
here in Australia when it came out? Yeah, Australia has always been good to me. I think, you know, outside of the US and parts of Europe, Australia has been right up there with some of my, you know, strongest followers and um, Beautiful Soul was definitely, you know, that was a, a record that changed my life and so many people's lives around the world. It was my first debut record and uh, put me on the map and um, people, you know, are still listening and singing it to this day. It's 20 years old this year, which is crazy to Does think about. Does that make you feel old? Does that make you feel old? very old but <laughs> it also just feels like yesterday i was you know looking at footage i was doing uh the t the morning show today in australia playing footage and it just feels like yesterday that i that i shot that music video so in many ways uh it feels like you know just i like it was yesterday but um but yeah you know i certainly i feel older for sure <laughs> do you um yeah do your knees hurt in the morning and your back hurts a little bit and you know you just yeah. what happens when you get old do you when you look back at, like on on those times when the whole world was like spinning probably at a million miles an hour for you and the, and the record was you were number one on the charts around the globe uh, do do you look back on that time do you remember it vividly or did it all happen so quickly that you're like damn I wish I just stopped a minute and just and just enjoyed it for a little bit but we were so busy working on the next one or us rushing to the next country to do the next performance a little bit of both. I mean, there's there's definitely standout moments that I have of performing that song that I'll never forget because it was, it, you know, it was the first. It was my first time yeah. uh, perform, putting out a record. And you only get one of those. So a lot of those memories, actually being in Australia was a huge memory for me. I shot a music video from that album down there. It was my first legal beer was in Australia. So I remember that very vividly. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, a lot of it, like if there's one thing I could tell myself um, now, like if I if I could speak to my 16 year old self, it would be to sort of stop and smell the roses a little bit yeah. because like, we were traveling so much and it was off to the next country and it all happened so quickly that it was hard to really soak it in at the time. But now I look back and I'm just so grateful and, and nostalgic about that time. Yeah, no, and I was going to ask you, uh, obviously people in Australia will also remember you. Uh, you did Summerland as well. Uh, do you? What do you enjoy uh, more? Have you got any TV slash movie projects on the boil or is it all about music these days? Do you like to dabble in a bit of everything? I love doing it all, to be honest with you. I mean, acting is like, for me, is such a big integral part of my life, but... Uh, I, you know, I get to do it at home with my wife. My my wife and I do a lot of comedy sketches together on TikTok and on Instagram. And we're both, we both have such a good time doing it. She's hilarious. She's a great writer. So we, we get a chance to collaborate together. And I think maybe after this album, we'll do more of that. But this year is really geared about around music and, and this new EP. Um, lovely. Uh, the EP is dropping April 5. Uh, All's Well is what it's called here in Australia. Or well, it's called that everywhere, but that's what it's called. Uh, April 5 is when it's coming out. Um, last question. Weirdest place you get recognised? Because you you still look like Jesse McCartney. Like, I know that sounds strange. No, I, and I know that's a weird question to ask that you still look like. Because, of course, you still look like Jesse McCartney. But sometimes I interview people who look very vastly different to what they look like when they were like on posters or whatever it might have been but you look like the same dude today so wherever you go people will be like fuck that's jesse mccartney do you get that it everywhere you go takes a couple more hours in the morning to look the way i do now that's why we're doing this interview at 10 p.m my time yeah, but sure. uh i appreciate the compliment i you know it's weird sometimes it's uh you know the everyday just uh, down walking down the street but just recently i was flying in from nashville and a guy kind of had the nerve to sit, like, come up to me while I was in the bathroom, no. which I thought was awkward and creepy. But um, you know, some people don't uh, realize where they are; they just kind of have that "oh my gosh" moment, and they can't help themselves. Uh, sometimes when you're not, you know, uh, fully uh, whipped up. <laughs> um, all right, and then last question for you before I let you go, because I don't want to keep you up. You need to get your beauty rest. That's, that's why you look this. That's why your, your skin is still your skin's still perfect, by the way. Uh, I've actually got two last questions for you. Number one, when you watch back the music video to Beautiful Soul, do you ever question why the pool had so many leaves in it? I never understood that. Why the pool was, had so many leaves in it. It was fall in New York, okay. and that, that swimming pool was frosty. Okay. We, we actually had to, like, move away some chips of ice like it was that cold. 
But the 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 the, the Mark Webb who directed that video, big director now, he he was like, dude, if you can just do it for ten minutes, it's just going to be worth the shot. And he was right; it, yeah. it looked amazing. It did, but it was freezing cold. Um, and then my last question: uh, Are you happy or are you sad? Uh, not sad is the wrong word, but are you happy or are you relieved that uh, social media wasn't as prevalent as it was today, 20 years ago, when you were flying around doing everything? Because no one can get away with anything anymore. And I guess what I'm asking, are you glad that f no one could take videos and photos all the time and that you had maybe at least a little bit of anonymity or privacy at times? I think a little bit of both. Obviously, there is a huge benefit to having social media in today's music where at the click of a button, you can share, you know, what you're working on and what yeah. you had for. But, uh, but yeah, I will say it was a, a different time. And I think growing up, you know, going through things like puberty and acne uh, is nice to know that the camera is not always rolling. Yes. Uh, for the in life it's, so it's, it's nice to know that you had an ability to curate your image and it wasn't just people taking photos of you at, at wherever you were and putting them on the internet forever um no, no well filter. absolutely all right new song is called make a baby it's out now uh ep is out april 5 it's called all's well jesse mccartney pleasure to have you on the show sir thanks for being on Thanks for having me, Smallsy. Appreciate it, brother. You're a legend, sir. Thank you, man. Have a great night. Appreciate it. And I love the lounge room. You got a great, I'm sure, I don't know if you decorate or your wife, but it's very beautiful. Yeah, I wish I could take credit. It's all take her, credit. but you're Take credit. Take credit. You're welcome over for a beer anytime. Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.